Hello, uh, we are mm, going to talk today about organizing folders. Uh, usually when we work with Hecras, we have a lot of different files, a lot of different formats and documents and Excel sheets or Word, stuff like this. So let's see. Uh, for example, I recommend that if we work with a project, I have called this uh, folder uh, just Hecras Course 2, but it can be name of the project, whatever. It can be master thesis, it can be uh, the project of my life, <laughs> whatever. I recommend to do at least three folders. Uh, there are one for receive data, another one for the work we are going to do, another one for the sent data we, we have. Why? Because uh, often when we work uh, with, a, with something like this, we work for a client or maybe we are doing our master thesis for our uh, professor, or, but we, we manage data. Uh, data will be uh, sent and received or downloaded. That can be also uh, set in received data. Uh, so that will help a lot. And within this, in received, I recommend also that once we receive a data, we put another folder with the reference of the time. In this case, for example, the year 2023, the month 02, day 25. And what is it? Mm, uh, the, yeah, the rain larval or whatever it is. And uh, inside uh, of the folder work, uh, we will have usually a folder for the Hecras model and maybe for different analysis. So uh, usually when I work with Hecras uh, and I uh, have some results for different discharge levels, for example, but I want to compare them maybe using RGIS or QGIS. I will take the results from this folder and bring it into another folder. So analysis of water surface elevation. And I will put the, the results from HECRAS in this folder so that I ensure that I don't destroy this data when I work with the model again. And then I will work with the data in this folder and finally put the re uh, results here. And if I'm going to send the results, maybe I just copy this from here and bring it into the send folder. Maybe sometimes I double the data. It's, this is not a problem. It would be worse to lose the data unless maybe the f uh, files are really large. But usually I recommend to have the data organized on twice rather than not being sure where you can find it. And that's it. I can show you an example of uh, a project that I've been working on. Uh, so this is uh, the, the project point cloud and I have a lot of different uh, folders, uh, but it has the receive and send that I told you. And I have hydraulics that it will be for the for the Hegras models, hydrology for the hydrology data, and data documents and challenge. But uh, yeah, that's it. it. This is just an idea if it helps to you, but this is creativity and of course change it so that you manage the best uh, your, your projects. And yeah, bye bye, lots of luck.